in the dynamic theater of modern warfare, attack helicopters play a pivotal role. This video is about the, the prowess of the top 15 attack helicopters around the world. Beginning with the indomitable Boeing AH-64 Apache. Number one, AH-64 Apache Boeing. Regarded as one of the most potent and versatile attack helicopters globally, the Boeing AH-64 Apache epitomizes the zenith of rotary-winged combat power. Developed for the United States Army in the late 20th century, it has since seen widespread adoption and countless operational deployments across multiple continents. The heart of the Apache's firepower lies in its armament capabilities. The primary weapon is its 30 MMM 230 chain gun located under its fuselage. The gun is fed with 1,200 rounds, providing a relentless rain of fire on the enemies. For anti-armor and anti-fortification roles, the Apache can carry AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, potent enough to decimate the most formidable armored vehicles. Furthermore, the Hydra 70 rocket pods can be mounted for area suppression and engagement of soft targets. The AH-64's avionics suite is a testament to modern military technology. The target acquisition designation site, TADS, and the pilot night vision sensor, PNVS, provide exceptional target identification and night combat capabilities. The Apache's state-of-the-art fire control system allows both the pilot and co-pilot slash gunner to share or split targeting information. The Apache's rugged airframe design and survivability features have earned it a reputation for robustness. Built with crash-worthy seats, self-sealing fuel systems, and the ability to withstand 23mm anti-aircraft fire, the Apache is designed to keep its crew safe while navigating treacherous battle conditions. The helicopter's robust rotor system allows it to continue flying even when subjected to heavy fire. Moreover, the Apache has proved its mettle in a plethora of conflict zones. Its maiden deployment was in the Panama invasion in 1989, where it successfully conducted surgical strikes against Panamanian defense forces. However, it was during the 1991 Gulf War where the Apache truly shined. Providing the critical punch in the opening phase of Operation Desert Storm, the AH-64S led the charge, taking out key enemy air defenses. Over the years, the Apache has been pivotal in conflicts such as the Balkans, Afghanistan, and Iraq. Number 2. My-24 Hind, Meal Moscow Helicopter Plant Rugged, versatile, and with an intimidating presence, the Mi-24 Hind of the Mill Moscow Helicopter Plant has remained a formidable name in the realm of attack helicopters. The Mi-24, also known by its NATO reporting name Hind, is more than just an attack helicopter. It doubles as a low-capacity troop transport carrying up to eight soldiers, which sets it apart from its peers. At the core of the Hind's firepower are its rocket pods and anti-tank guided missiles. Primarily, it can carry a mixture of Sturm V missiles and unguided rockets, providing a significant punch to both armored and soft targets. Its nose-mounted four-barrel Yak-B 12.7mm machine gun gives the Mi-24 an additional layer of firepower, ideal for engaging ground personnel and light vehicles. The Mi-24 stands out for its speed and armor. It is designed for fast, low-level dashes across the battlefield, thereby minimizing exposure to enemy fire. This speed is achieved by its two top-mounted turboshaft engines, enabling a maximum speed of 208 miles per hour, 335 kilometers per h. The Heinz cockpit and vital components are heavily armored, providing it with remarkable survivability in hostile environments. The Mi-24's operational history is as extensive as it is diverse. From the deserts of Afghanistan to the jungles of Central Africa, the Hind has seen action in a variety of war theaters. It has earned a reputation for being a workhorse, often operating under challenging conditions and taking substantial damage while remaining airborne. Number 3. Eurocopter Tiger – Airbus Helicopters The 
The Eurocopter Tiger, built by Airbus Helicopters, is a versatile multi-role attack helicopter renowned for its agility, advanced avionics, and superior firepower. Entering service in the early 2000s, it has evolved to meet the diverse requirements of modern warfare. The Tiger's armament is customizable to mission requirements. It can carry a combination of Mistral air-to-air -air missiles, Hellfire II air-to-ground missiles, and Hydra 70 rocket pods. This diverse arsenal is guided by a sophisticated fire control system, providing the Tiger with precise and lethal engagement capabilities. A highlight of the Tiger is its advanced avionics suite. It is equipped with a modern digital cockpit, integrated self-protection system, and a helmet-mounted sight display. These features enable the crew to conduct all-weather, day- and night operations and provide comprehensive situational awareness on the battlefield. The Tiger's agility and maneuverability are second to none. Powered by two Turbo Mecha Rolls-Royce MTR 390 turboshaft engines, it achieves a maximum speed of 196 miles per hour, 315 kilometers per H, and possesses exceptional aerobatic capabilities. This, combined with a stealthy design and low detectability features, makes the Tiger a challenging adversary in combat situations. The Tiger's operational history spans multiple conflicts and humanitarian missions. Its service record includes counterinsurgency operations in Afghanistan, peacekeeping missions in Kosovo, and anti-terrorist operations in Mali. This wide operational footprint testifies to the Tiger's adaptability and effectiveness in different warfare scenarios. Number 4. Kamov K-50 Black Shark Kamov The Kamov K-50 Black Shark, also known as the Hokum A by NATO, is a single-seat Russian attack helicopter with distinctive coaxial rotor system. Developed by Kamov, it was designed for close air support and anti-armor operations and is famed for its remarkable maneuverability and combat survivability. The Black Shark carries a substantial amount of firepower. It is equipped with a semi-rigid 30mm Shapunov 2A42 autocannon and can carry a variety of rocket pods and anti-tank guided missiles, such as the Vikar. This diverse armament allows it to engage a wide range of targets, from armored vehicles to fortifications and personnel. A defining feature of the K-50 is its coaxial rotor system, which provides exceptional agility and maneuverability. It allows the Black Shark to perform complex maneuvers like looping and rolls, rarely seen in other helicopters. Powered by two TV-3117 VMA turboshaft engines, the K-50 can reach a maximum speed of 196 miles per hour, 315 kilometers per H, and a service ceiling of 18,000 feet. The K-50 boasts of robust survivability features. Its armored cockpit and self-sealing fuel tanks provide substantial protection to the pilot. Furthermore, it employs an ejection seat system, a rarity in helicopters, ensuring pilot safety during critical situations. The K-50 has seen limited combat service, most notably during the Second Chechen War, where it was used for reconnaissance and target designation roles. Despite limited operational history, its distinctive features and robust design make it an important addition to this list of top attack helico SPA. Developed by Augusta, now part of Leonardo SPA, the A-129 Mangusta Mongoose is Italy's prime attack helicopter designed for anti-armor, armed reconnaissance, and close air support roles. Being the first attack helicopter entirely developed in Western Europe, it features a notable blend of firepower, advanced avionics, and performance capabilities. The Mangusta's armament is designed to suit diverse mission profiles. It can carry tow missiles, Hellfire II missiles, and 81mm or 70mm rockets, providing a substantial anti-armor and fire support capability. It is also equipped with a nose-mounted 20mm Gatling gun, offering a robust counter to soft targets and infantry. The A-129's avionics are sophisticated, providing enhanced combat effectiveness. Its suite includes a night vision goggle compatible cockpit, FLIR, forward looking infrared, electronic warfare systems, and helmet mounted display systems. 
This digital avionics suite ensures all-weather, day and night operational capability. The Mangusta is powered by two Rolls-Royce GEM 2104D turboshaft engines, enabling a maximum speed of 174 miles per hour, 279 kilometers per h. The dual-engine configuration provides an extra safety layer, ensuring continued flight capability even if one engine fails. The A129's operational history mainly involves the Italian Army, where it has been used in UN missions and peacekeeping operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. In these scenarios, it showcased its prowess in armed reconnaissance and escort missions. Number 7. Mi-28 Havoc, Mil Moscow Helicopter Plant The Mi-28 Havoc, developed by the Mil Moscow Helicopter Plant, is a Russian all-weather, day-night, military tandem, anti-armor attack helicopter. Its design prioritizes direct fire support and anti-armor capabilities, making it a formidable asset on the battlefield. The Havoc's firepower is remarkable. It is equipped with a 30mm Shipunov 2A42 cannon and can carry a combination of anti-tank guided missiles, unguided rockets, and air-to-air -air missiles. This versatile armament enables the Mi-28 to take on a variety of targets effectively. The Mi-28's avionics suite includes advanced navigation and targeting systems that enable all-weather, day- and night operations. Its systems include a thermal night vision camera, a laser range finder, and a helmet-mounted targeting system that allows the pilot to aim the helicopter's weapons simply by looking at the target. Powered by two Klimov TV-3117 VMA turboshaft engines, the Havoc can reach a maximum speed of 199 miles per hour, 320 kilometers per h. Its performance features and maneuverability are designed for close combat scenarios, providing an edge in intense battlefield situations. The Mi-28 is designed for survivability. Its cockpit is armored to withstand 20mm rounds, and its main rotor blades can sustain hits from 30mm shells. The Havoc also employs energy-absorbing landing gear and crew seats. To enhance survivability during crash landings, the Havoc has seen operational service with the Russian armed forces, including combat deployments in Syria. Its resilience and firepower have been tested in these challenging environments, demonstrating its effectiveness as a modern attack helicopter. Number 8. Seix Z-10, Changhe Aircraft Industries Corporation The Seix Z-10, developed by the Changhe Aircraft Industries Corporation of China, represents the country's first dedicated modern attack helicopter. Built to match the requirements of the 21 St. Century battlefield, the Z-10 boasts a compelling blend of firepower, sophisticated avionics, and impressive performance capabilities. The Z-10's arsenal is potent, comprising a 30mm automatic cannon, HJ-10 anti-tank guided missiles, TI-90 air-to-air missiles, and unguided rocket pods. This diverse array of weapons allows the Z-10 to tackle a wide range of targets from armored vehicles to enemy aircraft and infantry. The Z-10's avionics suite includes a millimeter-wave fire control radar, helmet-mounted sight, and integrated electronic warfare systems. These features enable it to carry out all-weather, day- and night operations with improved situational awareness and targeting capabilities. The Z-10 is powered by two WZ-9 turboshaft engines, enabling it to reach a maximum speed of 186 miles per hour, 300 kilometers per h. It possesses good maneuverability, making it effective for close combat and low-altitude operations. The Z-10 has been designed with survivability in mind. Its armor can withstand hits from 23mm rounds, and the helicopter is equipped with crash-worthy seats, reducing the impact on crew members during a crash landing. The Z-10 has seen service primarily with the People's Liberation Army of China, participating in numerous military exercises and anti-terrorism operations. It represents a significant step in China's development of its military capabilities and its drive towards achieving military self-sufficiency. Number 9. Danel AH-2, Royvalk, Danel Aviation. The AH-2 Royvalk, developed by South Africa's Danel Aviation, is a unique player in the realm of attack helicopters. Primarily designed for the anti-armor role in the harsh southern African battlefields, the Royvalk boasts impressive firepower, advanced avionics, 
and high-performance capabilities. The Royvox armament is diverse, featuring a 20mm cannon, and the capacity to carry anti-tank guided missiles, air-to-air -air missiles, and unguided rockets. This gives it a significant punch against a variety of targets on the battlefield. The Royvolk's avionics suite includes advanced navigation systems, thermal imaging systems, and a helmet-mounted display. These systems allow for all weather, day and night operations, and enhance the targeting and combat effectiveness of the helicopter. The Royvolk is powered by two Turbo Mecha Makila 1K2 turboshaft engines, enabling a top speed of 186 miles per hour, 299 kilometers per h. Its design features, including an agile rotor system and a narrow fuselage, enhance maneuverability and survivability on the battlefield. The Royvolk's operational history is relatively limited but noteworthy. It has been deployed in peacekeeping missions in the Democratic Republic of Congo under the United Nations, where it proved successful in combat and close air support operations. Number 10. Tai Augusta Westland T-129, ATAC, Turkish Aerospace Industries. The Tai Augusta Westland T-129, ATAC, developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries in partnership with Augusta Westland, is a twin-engine, tandem-seat, multi-role, all-weather attack helicopter. The T-129 represents a significant achievement in Turkish defense manufacturing and has been gaining recognition on the global stage. The T-129's armament is versatile, comprising a 20mm cannon, UMTA's anti-tank missiles, Stinger air-to-air -air missiles, and 70mm rockets. This variety of weapons allows it to engage a range of targets, from armored vehicles to aerial threats and infantry formations. The T-129's avionics suite includes advanced targeting systems, electronic warfare systems, and a comprehensive suite of countermeasures. This provides the crew with enhanced situational awareness and targeting capabilities in all weather conditions, day or night. The T-129 is powered by two LH-Tech CTS-804 A turboshaft engines, enabling a top speed of 152 miles per hour, 245 kilometers per h. With its advanced rotor system and aerodynamic design, it offers exceptional maneuverability and agility, key factors in combat scenarios. The T-129 has been designed with a focus on survivability. Its armor can withstand hits from 23mm rounds, and the aircraft includes energy-absorbing seats and crash-worthy systems to protect the crew in the event of a crash landing. The T-129 has seen service with the Turkish Armed Forces and has been exported to several countries. It has proved itself in combat during operations against the PKK in Turkey, showcasing its efficacy in attack and reconnaissance roles. Number 11. Boeing Sikorsky Ray-66 Comanche Boeing Sikorsky Aircraft The Boeing Sikorsky Ray-66 Comanche, though never entering full-scale production, was a pioneering venture in the world of attack helicopters. It was designed as a stealthy, armed reconnaissance helicopter, and much of its technology influenced future developments in rotorcraft design. The Comanche's planned armament included a 20mm cannon and internal weapons bays capable of carrying AGM-114 Hellfire missiles and AIM-92 Stinger air-to-air -air missiles. This armament, combined with its stealth design, would have allowed it to engage targets effectively while remaining largely undetected. The Comanche's avionics suite was designed to be state-of-the-art, with advanced sensors, stealth technology, and a comprehensive electronic warfare system. These systems would have allowed for operations in all weather conditions, day or night. The Comanche was powered by two LH-Tech T-800 turboshaft engines, with a planned top speed of 175 miles per hour, 282 kilometers per h. It had a five-blade rotor system, and its small size and agility would have given it significant advantages in maneuverability. The Comanche project was ultimately canceled due to cost overruns and shifting military priorities. However, the technologies developed during the program, including composite materials, advanced avionics, and stealth technologies, have had a significant influence on subsequent helicopter designs. Number 12. HAL Light Combat Helicopter 
Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. The HAL Light Combat Helicopter, LCH, developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited of India, is a multi-role combat helicopter designed for high-altitude warfare, with a primary focus on meeting the unique challenges posed by India's varied topography, the LCH demonstrates a distinctive blend of firepower, advanced avionics, and performance tailored for demanding environments. The LCH's armament is potent, including a 20mm M621 cannon on a Nexter THL-20 turret and the ability to carry anti-tank guided missiles, 70mm rockets and air-to-air -air missiles. This arsenal equips the LCH to engage with a wide variety of targets, from enemy tanks to aerial threats. The LCH's avionics suite incorporates modern targeting systems, a helmet-mounted sight, and a comprehensive electronic warfare suite. This provides the crew with enhanced targeting and situational awareness, enabling operations in all weather conditions, day or night. The cockpit's glass design offers a panoramic view, a key advantage in close combat scenarios. Powering the LCH are two Shakti turboshaft engines, providing a maximum speed of 168 miles per hour, 270 kilometers per H. Remarkably, the LCH has demonstrated the capability to operate at extreme altitudes, up to 21,300 feet, thanks to its Shakti engines and aerodynamic design. This makes it an ideal candidate for operations in high-altitude regions like the Himalayas. The LCH has already been ordered by the Indian Air Force and the Indian Army, indicating its strategic importance. It has demonstrated its prowess in several high-altitude tests and has been deployed during border standoffs, reflecting its relevance and utility in the field. Number 13. AH-1 Super Cobra – Bell Helicopter The AH-1 Super Cobra, developed by Bell Helicopter, is an iconic symbol in the realm of attack helicopters. Originating from the AH-1 Cobra, the world's first dedicated attack helicopter, the Super Cobra series has seen several decades of evolution and service, continually adapting to meet the changing requirements of the battlefield. The Super Cobra's armament is formidable, encompassing a 20mm M197 three-barrel Gatling gun, AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, tow missiles, and 2.75-inch 70mm rockets. This arsenal provides the Super Cobra with a heavy punch to engage armored targets, enemy aircraft, and infantry formations. The Super Cobra's avionics suite incorporates advanced sensors and targeting systems, including a night targeting system, NTS, that enables it to perform precise attacks in all weather, day, or night conditions. The Super Cobra also features advanced electronic warfare systems, providing self-defense against radar-guided and infrared threats. The Super Cobra is powered by two General Electric T 700 GE401 turboshaft engines, enabling a top speed of approximately 175 miles per hour, 282 kilometers per H. The twin-engine design ensures better performance and survivability, while the helicopter's agility is enhanced by the bearingless, semi-rigid rotor design. The Super Cobra's design focuses on enhancing survivability. The crew compartment has reinforced armor, capable of withstanding hits from 23mm rounds, and the helicopter is equipped with energy-absorbing landing gear and seats to reduce the impact during a crash landing. The AH-1 Super Cobra represents a significant chapter in the history of attack helicopters. Its legacy is carried forward by the latest member of the Cobra family, the AH-1Z Viper, ensuring that the proven Cobra design continues to serve and adapt well into the 21st century. The Super Cobra's potent blend of firepower, advanced avionics, and proven combat performance make it one of the world's top attack helicopters. Number 14. NH Industries NH-90 NH Industries The NH Industries NH-90 a product of the multinational collaboration among France's Airbus Helicopters, Italy's Leonardo Helicopters, and Germany's Airbus Helicopters Deutschland, is a medium-sized, twin-engine, multi-role military helicopter. While not exclusively an attack helicopter, 
The NH-90 has combat variants that are equipped to carry out armed reconnaissance and anti-surface warfare roles. The NH-90's armament is configurable depending on its mission profile. The combat variant, known as the NFH, NATO Frigate Helicopter, can be equipped with anti-submarine torpedoes, anti-ship missiles, or machine guns mounted on the side doors. This versatile arsenal allows the NH-90 to engage with a variety of targets, whether at sea or on land. The NH-90's avionics suite incorporates fly-by-wire controls, a comprehensive electronic warfare suite, and an array of advanced sensors. This includes radar, sonar, forward-looking infrared, FLIR, and a magnetic anomaly detector for anti-submarine warfare. These systems enhance the helicopter's targeting capabilities, situational awareness, and survivability, enabling it to perform operations in all weather conditions day or night. The NH-90 is powered by two Rolls-Royce Turbo Mecha RTM 322 or General Electric T700E turboshaft engines, depending on the variant, enabling a top speed of approximately 186 miles per hour, 300 kilometers per h. The NH-90's design places a strong emphasis on ruggedness and versatility, capable of operating from land or naval platforms in harsh weather and demanding environments. The NH-90 has been adopted by many NATO countries and has seen service in various regions worldwide. Its mission profiles have included troop transport, search and rescue, anti-submarine warfare, and armed reconnaissance, underscoring its versatility. The NH-90's development and service represent a successful multinational collaboration in rotorcraft design. Its advanced avionics, versatile armament, and multi-role capabilities ensure its relevance in various combat and support scenarios. Number 15. Kawasaki O-1 Kawasaki Heavy Industries the Kawasaki OH-1, developed by Kawasaki Heavy Industries, is an advanced scout and light attack helicopter used by the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force, JGSDF. Named Ninja, it embodies the sophistication and agility that its moniker suggests, marking a significant evolution in Japanese rotorcraft design and manufacturing capabilities. The OH-1's armament includes a 20mm XM 301 three-barrel Gatling gun mounted under the nose and four hard points on stub wings that can carry Type 91 air-to-air -air missiles or unguided rocket pods. This diverse arsenal ensures the OH-1 is capable of effectively engaging ground targets and providing self-defense against aerial threats. The OH-1's avionics suite is impressive incorporating a suite of advanced sensors, including a roof-mounted opto-electronic sensor turret that houses a forward-looking infrared, FELAR, sensor, a laser rangefinder, and a CCD camera. This suite offers enhanced situational awareness and precision targeting capabilities in all weather, day, or night conditions. Additionally, the OH-1 features a helmet-mounted display, HMD, for both pilots, which allows sensor and flight data to be displayed on the pilot's visor. Powering the OH-1 are two Mitsubishi TS-1 turboshaft engines, providing a maximum speed of 173 miles per hour, 278 kilometers per h. The OH-1's aerodynamic design, bearingless main rotor and shrouded tail rotor provide high agility and maneuverability, key advantages in both scout and light attack roles. The OH-1 places considerable emphasis on survivability. Its stepped, armored tandem cockpit offers protection from small arms fire, and the energy-absorbing landing gear and crash-worthy seats safeguard the crew in the event of a hard landing or crash. The OH-1 is a unique example of a domestic Japanese helicopter design developed to replace the aging fleet of OH-6 Scout helicopters. The Japanese government's decision to prioritize domestic development instead of purchasing foreign designs signifies a strong commitment to enhancing Japan's defense technology capabilities. The OH-1 has successfully served the JGSDF since its introduction in 2000. While it has not been exported due to Japan's strict defense export laws, which have been relaxed only recently, the OH-1 has proven its worth through its continued service and performance in the JGSDF. The Kawasaki OH-1 demonstrates the pinnacle of Japanese technological development in the field of rotorcraft. Its state-of-the-art avionics, potent armament, and remarkable performance make it one of the world's top scout and light-attack helicopters.